Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika, and this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. All right, I'm excited about today's show. We're going to be talking about how to get your first voiceover job. I think this is probably the number one question I get asked. And, you know, I, I hesitate to always answer it because there are so many different ways that you can get voiceover work. And everyone is at a different place, meaning that, you know, some people start uh, and, you know, they start. I mean, what I mean by is everybody starts at the same place, but some people will go out and get equipment and then start looking. Some people will start looking before they go get equipment. Some people you know, focus on uh, commercials, some people are focused on audio, but there's so many different things. So what I want to do today is I want to give you a quick step, kind of step-by-step process of how to get your very first job in voiceover, okay? And again, this is my personal opinion, and this is actually exactly how I started, all right? So I'm going to tell you uh, how you can do the same thing. So starting out voiceover, you need a computer, (laughs) <laughs> okay, you got to have a computer that you can run some software on that we call a DAW or digital audio workstation like Audacity, which is free. You can go online and download Audacity on your computer. Your computer can be a laptop. It can be a PC. It can be a Mac. Whatever you are using, you need to have a computer with an interface with a, a digital audio workstation like Audacity, Adobe Audition, Reaper, Pro Tools. Studio One, all of these different things, um, some, most of them are paid for, but Audacity is free. Now, there's Twisted Wave for Mac, there's GarageBand, there's uh, all sorts of free ones too, but Audacity is probably the easiest one to get started on for free. Then you need a microphone. Now, I'm going to base today's video off of you wanting to get started as soon as possible and not looking to drop five or $10,000 to get started. <laughs> when I started, I literally uh, started for under 200. It was so, okay. So technically I started for under $50, but uh, I had a gift card to Lowe's <laughs> that my mom had gotten me for my birthday. So so we'll, so that was for $200. So we'll say for $250 and under, okay? This is how I started and how you can start. So basically what I did and what you can do is once you have that set up, you know, you have your computer, most of us already have a computer, so we're good to go there. You have your digital audio workstation like Audacity, then you need a microphone, okay? And you can go get a USB microphone from Best Buy. You can buy one for $100 or less on um, on Amazon. Now, I want to I want to preface this right off the bat. This is for the bare minimum entry level. What I'm telling you to do is you're going to be able to get some work, but you're not going to be able to get tons of work, and you're not necessarily going to get really high-paying jobs to start with the type of equipment and the setup I'm giving you, but I know that this setup I'm giving you works because I did it, and I got work, and I'm going to tell you how. So you need to get a microphone. Start with a USB microphone unless you have more to invest, but you can start with a USB microphone like Snowball is a great company. Um, I actually started with a blue with a, uh, I mean blue, excuse me, blue is a good company and snowball was a microphone I got. <laughs> so, but they also have what's called the blue Yeti. So that's a good place to start. That's a microphone that you can find somewhere around a hundred dollars. You can find maybe some, a little bit less of it's a sale, but you can probably do it around a hundred dollars. Uh, and then at that point you need some sort of space that you can record in. If you have a big enough closet that you can record in your closet, That's great. You take your laptop in there, take your um, uh, microphone in there, plug it in, sit on the floor, get a table, get a small table and chairs, get a desk, whatever you do. That's a that's a cheap way. You don't actually have to spend any more money. I actually went to Lowe's and I bought some packing blankets and PVC pipe and I set up a booth. I just cut the PVC pipe to go around my desk and I made it into a rectangular shape so it would stand up on its own. I got plastic clamps and I clamped the uh, packing blankets around the PVC pipe so that when I got in there, it helped dampen the sound. As I went along, I added more things like pillows, blankets from my house so I didn't spend any more money. But this whole setup for me was actually under $250 when I started. And you could do the same. Now, once you get all that set up, the place that I recommend that you go to get started, which is what I did with this type of equipment, 
you can still produce some decently le um, good level uh, voiceovers. Again, it's not going to be, and I want to make this clear because there'll be a lot of people who might tell you, no, you can't start in voiceover this way. And what they're really trying to say to you is, is that you're not going to be able to climb very high when it comes to getting big commercial jobs and things like that with the type of equipment you start out with. But that's not what we're shooting for, right? I started with audiobooks. I love audiobooks. I always listen to them. I started with audiobooks on a website called acx.com. This is a, a great site that you can go that you can get on Audible. Audible's owned by Amazon. There's indie publishers, indie authors, just like you and not me, freelancers who are trying to go on their own and make some extra money too. You can do the same thing. And you meet up with these people on this site. It's called acx.com. And you can go there and literally audition without having to have a demo. See, when I started, I didn't have a demo. I didn't have anything. I heard all these people telling me, oh, you can't do it that way. You can't do it this way. I was just so excited about trying to get a voiceover job. I wasn't thinking about all that other stuff. And lo and behold, I actually was able to <laughs> get voiceover work. So you can as well. All right. Now, again, this is a stepping stone process, but this is where you can start. And basically, you go onto this website. You find books that people are put on there for you to audition for. You audition for, you submit the audition, and then, of course, they will get back to you and let you know if they want to work with you. Once you do that, they can either pay you outright or Amazon will offer you a royalty share program where they'll actually share the royalties when people buy the audiobook. Now, I want to make something clear. Again, this is not the only thing that you have to learn how to do. You got to learn how to record your audio and you got to learn how to edit it and master it. And of course, there's tons of um, uh, I have I have videos on Avio's Journey YouTube channel that you can check out about editing and stuff. I have courses at aviosjourney.com for starting out with Audacity or starting out with Adobe Audition, you know, um, and you know, if you're trying to just get started. So this is a great place to get your first voiceover job. And I'm telling you this not out of, I think you can do it. I'm telling you this out of, this is what I did, literally. I started with a $40 microphone from Best Buy. I got a coat hanger with that was a wire coat hanger with panty, if an old pantyhose that my wife let me have. And I made a pop filter. Pop filter is a filter. It's this thing that you put in front of your mouth and the microphone. All right. And I used that as a pop filter and wrapped it around. I had a microphone stand that I borrowed from my school. So if you got to get a microphone stand, you can get one for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, a lot of and, and by the way, my 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 mic that I got, the USB mic actually had a, a quarter inch thread on it so that I could actually put it on the microphone stand. But a lot of the mics come just with its own stand that you can put on your desk. So anyways, I did that. I had my packing blankets and my hobo fort, as I called it. I put it up and took it down every night. I got that from Best Buy. Or, um, I got the mic from Best Buy and I got the packing blankets and stuff from uh, Lowe's. You can order that stuff, too, from Amazon as well. And I worked like that for about six to eight months before I bought another microphone. And then I upgraded into an interface, which is a device that takes a USB microphone or takes a microphone and takes a uh, digital signal. All right. Uh, that's created from the, the microphone and sends it. It amplifies the signal and sends it to your computer, et cetera. It's a preamp in there. And they also make them that they can do all kinds of stuff. But anyways, you can upgrade to that, okay? But just starting out, this is a great way for you to get your first voiceover job. I got my first voiceover job, which was a $50 audiobook that was like 30 or 45 minutes long, and I got paid $50 for it. Uh, it's still on Amazon right now, back in 2017. So, you know, it wasn't a lot of money, but it was so exciting to be hired to, 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 you know, perform. And from there, I learned and built my way up. You are not, I really believe this, don't do this setup thinking that this is the setup that you will have in order to make a living off of in voiceover. The setup I gave you is a pre-setup. It's a setup for you to just get started. Your goal should be to upgrade. But I wanted to, 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 to give you a path to get your first voiceover job. All right. Thank you guys so much. Leave some comments below. And remember, when you do leave comments, remember, we're a lot of a lot of us are just starting out. So you don't need to get great 
fantastic equipment. If you can afford it and you plan on doing this um, as a career, then by all means, invest in some some good equi- some better equipment, right? But if you're just starting out, you're trying to you know dip your toes in the water. This is a great place to start. All right, and I hope this video helps. Thank you. Take a moment to like and subscribe. And uh, as always, you have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow for Fiverr Friday. All right, peace.